Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Miss Kitty's Corner. For today's episode, we are going to talk about card making. I want to talk about card making and show you an example of how you can make a really fun card because we have so many different holidays coming up that you can give people cards. And what's better right now than to do a craft at home and not have to go out to the store and buy one. And homemade cards are always so much more heartfelt and they mean so much more because the person who receives the card knows that you put a lot of time into it and that you truly cared. Um, about giving them this card. So you have Mother's Day coming up, which is on May 10th. I know a lot of people have birthdays in the month of May and also June. And then we have Father's Day in June. And I believe Grandparents' Day is also coming up. So we have a lot of different events and holidays that you can celebrate um, by gifting people cards. And so today I'm gonna show you how to make one specific type of card. And this is called a pop-up card. And pop-up cards are really fun because as you can guess, when you open them, something pops up out of it. I'm sure you might have seen these at the store and they're usually on the expensive side. However, today I'm gonna to show you how you can make one at home. My pop-up card today is going to be inspired by spring, so it's going to feature flowers. However, once I show you how you can do a pop-up card, you can put anything you want on it. So if you're making it maybe for your friend's birthday and they love Pete the Cat, you can make it themed around Pete the Cat and it'll still be a pop-up card. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is show you all the materials first and then I'm gonna go through step-by-step -step how to make this pop-up card. So just quickly, the materials you'll need, just a glue stick. It can also be um, liquid glue, that's fine too. A pair of scissors and construction paper. Now, you can use scraps of construction paper. I always like to use all of my scraps because I don't like anything to go to waste. So you'll see I have a bunch of little, and this was actually, this was from the Re Reader's Theater video that I taped. This was the band around my hat for one of the characters. A um, Bunch of different types of construction paper and then I'll, oh, you also need some markers. Um, you don't have to have all these colors. Miss Kitty loves her markers, so she has many different <laughs> colors. But you know what? I think for the bulk of this, I'm going to be just using um, a black marker. It could be a Sharpie. It could be anything you like. So this is completely up to you what you want to use as far as different colors. Um, but it's only three or four basic materials and you've got a pop-up card. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt my screen down and let's get started on how to make this pop-up card. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you pick two colors for your pop-up card. And since I'm going to be doing my card based around flowers, I want one of my pieces of construction paper to be green because that's gonna be the stems of the flower and you'll understand um, what I mean when we go forward in this video. Now the second piece of construction paper is going to be the main part of your card, the outside of your card. So to remember which is which, take the piece of construction paper that you want to be your main card, the outside of your card and that, like I said, that'll make a lot more sense in a little bit and fold it in half and then just set it to the side for now because we're not gonna use that until the very end. So right now what you're going to do is you're gonna take the other color and also fold it in half. Make sure that the bottoms of your paper when you're folding line up really nicely and we are going to make sure that this crease is very pressed down. I'm gonna do this a few times and you'll see why it's important. So I've already gone through and I did a test one 
on what we're going to do because I wanted to make sure that I could do it. <laughs> so this is going to, is, I mean, please forgive how ratty this piece of construction paper is. I just used a scrap, but for the most part, look here. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. So right now, all we have is this folded piece of paper, but we're going to get it to look like these with all these pop outs. And these are going to be my stems. Okay, so this is what I did. I just tested it out to make sure Miss Kitty could do it. And so now what we're gonna do is take our folded piece of paper and you're gonna go to the side with the fold. And you're gonna take a pair of scissors. And now this is completely up to you. This part is, um, it all is based upon how you want it to come out and what you want it to look like. But I am going to make one of my stems. And so I'm going to cut, like I said, it's on the side with the fold. It's not on the open side. We're leaving the open side alone. I made one cut and now I'm going to make another cut that is going to be parallel. I know those math terms, right? To the other cut that I just did. And so it should look like this, just a flap. So now what you do, and I'm going to do more of them so it looks like this when I'm done, but I just wanna show you how to do one for now. So I made two cuts with the scissors, and it's really important that for the most part, the two lines that you cut, they, they end at the same spot, right? You don't have one ending up here and the other one ending down here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your construction paper and you're gonna pop this little piece out. But if you look at it, it kinda looks wavy and it doesn't really look very stable. So what you're gonna do is at the bottom of the cutout, you're going to fold it down. Just fold it down like this. This might be a better angle. Just make a crease there. So now it has more stability when it's standing up. And now we're also gonna fold again at the crease. Now this crease was made when we originally folded this part. So just recrease it. All you have to do is take the flap and just press it in between your fingers. Okay, so now what's really important is that when we fold the card, it folds flat. So that when you open the card, it pops out. So we wanna make sure every time we're testing our card as we're making our stems, or if you're doing a different design, whatever these pieces represent, every time you fold it, you wanna make sure that if you can see this, the flap is flat so that when you open it, it opens nice, and look at that, it makes a perfect square right there. So fold it, make sure it's nice and flat, and then you open it, because when, what we're gonna do is, to give you a little bit of an idea of what the final product is gonna look like, this green paper is gonna go inside of the yellow paper. Like I said, this yellow paper was the outside of your card. You're gonna open the card and look at that, it's going to pop up just like that. Looks really pretty, huh? So now what I'm gonna do that I've showed you how to do the pop-up, I'm going to make a lot more pop-ups on mine because like I said, I want mine to be, when you open up my card, I want it to see, um, I want my person, I'll give you a little hint, it's going to my mom for Mother's Day. I want my mom to see a bunch of different flowers. So I'm gonna put my video on time-lapse so I don't take up too much of your time and I'll show you how I get the rest of the stems done. Okay, boys and girls, so now I am finished with my pop-ups. You can see I did one, two, three, four. 
and I have to tell you something, I made a mistake when I was doing it. So I wanted one of my stems, one of my pop-ups to be really long. And you can see that would be this one. But I'll show you what I did. So I cut it really high up in the back, cut it that high. And when I went to go fold it, the stem was outside of the card. And so that's how it would have folded. And I was like, oh no, I made a mistake. I did it too high up. So to fix it, I just folded it further inside the card on both edges. But you can see I made a mistake. But you know what? When you close it now, it's fine. There's no excess on the outside. So I guess, you know, when you do things like this, you make mistakes and you learn from them. So I made the mistake so you can learn from it too. <laughs> Don't cut too high up because your pop-up will end up outside of the card and then you can't put your card in an envelope or it'll look kind of funky when you go to give it to the person. So I guess I could put tape here if I wanted, but I'm okay with the way it looks now. I don't think my mom will notice. <laughs> Hopefully not. So the next part to this card making is we are going to take some scraps of construction paper. And I have this really funky piece of construction paper. I'm not sure where I got this from, but it's like tie dye. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some flowers on the construction paper and then I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to glue them on my stems. So I'm going to put my stems aside for now, take out my scissors and a piece, a few pieces of construction paper and um, then I'm going to draw my flowers and I'm not going to go crazy with drawing my flowers. I'm just going to draw really basic flowers because I think that this card is cool enough as it is. I don't need to go too crazy with drawing really detailed, intricate flowers. Okay, let's get started. I'll put this on time-lapse and whatever theme that you're doing for your card doesn't have to be flowers. If you wanted to do Pete the Cat, you would draw Pete the Cat's head and then you'd put it on the pop-up. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now that I have my four flowers drawn, and I only drew four because I have one, two, three, four pop-ups, or four stems, I'm going to cut them out. Okay, so now I have my flowers cut out and you'll see I actually did a, just a leaf for one of them, which I thought was pretty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue stick, which Miss Katie lost. Oh, here it is. And we are going to glue the back of our flower and glue it to the stem. Okay, boys and girls, so this is how it turned out. This green piece of paper, our pop-up paper, is going to sit inside of the yellow paper so that when you close it and then it opens, you have this really pretty pop-up design. So you can do this one of two ways. You can glue it inside of the other outside piece of construction paper, which is I think what I'm going to do. Or you could tape it if you'd like. But I already have my glue out, so I'm just going to glue it. You know what I might want to do is I might want to put this inside of a heavy book so that it stays pressed and so you don't have any issues. So 
the way that you're going to want to finish your personal card, and this might be for your friend, it might be for your mom or dad or your grandpa or grandma or auntie, uncle, you're going to want to write something horizontally so that they open the card like this. Okay, boys and girls. So on the outside, I wrote Happy Mother's Day. And that way they know to open it this way. And so when they open their card, they see the beautiful pop-up design that you chose to do. And then on the bottom, right down here, is where you'll write your message. So I wrote, I love you so much. So if you wanted to add anything else to your pop-up card, you could put maybe... For this design, I could put a sun up in the corner and maybe I could draw some clouds. But I think for right now, I think that this is a beautiful card that my mom is really going to enjoy. I hope that you enjoyed learning about how to make pop-up cards today and that you have a chance to make ones for somebody special in your life. All right, boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you in tomorrow's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.